what's up world? It's your boy Philosco here reporting live late night giving you a lesson and I wear my shades at night because I look so tired when I make videos this late. But no matter how tired I am, I do need to teach you guys because I always have something cool to teach you. And it's always a good time to learn, so let's get to it. Today's video is going to be about using the phrases up here, up there, down here, down there, come over here, and all those kind of things. Because I got an email from a good friend and he said these phrases really confuse him. He doesn't know how to use it. So I'm going to teach not only him, but everybody how to use these phrases. So let's get to it. The first two we're going to work on is up here and up there. Now, we are not going to speak about elevation. And what I mean by elevation, I mean like height. Like this is up here, this is down there. No, we're not going to speak about elevation. So if someone's on the top of a building all the way up there, and I'm all the way down here, no, we're not speaking about that. That is literally. We're not going to speak about literally here. We're going to speak about figuratively. And let me explain to you what I mean. Now, here are the five boroughs. These are the five boroughs in New York City. You have Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, and the Bronx. Now, you also need to know where's north, where's south. Where north is anything going this way of the map. Basically going up. Now, of course, it's not literally going up, but it's going up according to the map. So, where is south? South is anywhere down. It's not really down, it's just down according to the map. So, north is this way, and south is that way. So let me teach you how we use these. Now, first starting with up here or up there. So let's say I am in the Bronx. I'm all the way up top of the map. I'm in the Bronx and you are in Staten Island. If I wanted you to visit me, I would say something like this. Hey, I think you would enjoy it up here. You should come give us a visit. Now why am I saying up here? Well, I'm saying that because I know my location is north of yours. Yes, it is north of your location. So I would say up here. And now, if you want to speak about where I live, remember, I'm in the Bronx, you're in Staten Island, you will say something like, hmm, hmm, is it nice up there? Are the people nice up there? You can say things like that because I am located more north of you. Now, let's go to the opposite. This one should be pretty simple, too. We're down here and down there. Now, I want to go off from New York City for this one and go into something a little bigger. On the east coast of New York, basically where the 13 colonies were, we use this a whole lot referring to the south and the north of the east coast. So New York is like the northern side of the east coast and like Georgia and Florida, that's the southern part of the east coast. So I have a friend who lives in North Carolina and when I'm in America, I live in New York. Now when we speak to each other, we usually say things like this. Phil, the weather is beautiful down here. We have sun all the time, it's never too cold and there's almost never any snow. It's beautiful down here. But when I speak to him, I say things like, dude, I'm thinking about coming down there. I think I really want to go down there. I hear it's really nice. I might come and give you a visit down there. And why are we saying that? Down? Because where he lives is more south of where I live. Now that's basic. Those two tips, I'm pretty sure you will remember them. Now let's get to something more complicated, I guess. Let's say I live in New York and someone lives in Los Angeles. Now, New York and Los Angeles are very far from each other, and even if Los Angeles is more south of New York, it doesn't really matter because it's so far west. Now, when it comes to west or left, and east or right, we don't use that. We don't say, come to the left, or come to the right. No, we just say, over here, or over there. So, for example, I live in New York when I'm in America, and my friend lives in Los Angeles. When he wants me to visit him, he doesn't say, hey, come to the left. No, he can say, come over here. Come visit us over here. And he's using the word over because it's a distance. And he's saying here because that's where he is. You can come over here as in you can come visit me in Los Angeles. But if I wanted to ask him questions about Los Angeles, I would say, how is it over there? Are people nice? Is there a lot of money to be made or something? How's business? How is it all going over there? Yes, I'm able to say all of that. So let's pretend me and my cousin were in Los Angeles and we were together in Los Angeles and I wanted us to go somewhere else. I would say, hey, let's go to Japan. I think we would like it over there. Let's go over there. And the reason why I'm saying over there is because neither one of us is at the location right now known as Japan. So it's a distance away from both of us. You only use here when you're at the place. 
that you're referring to. But when you're using there, it's a place that is a distance away. And since we're both a distance away, I would say, let's go over there. And since it's not directly north or directly south of us, it's just over and not up or down. Like that. Hope it's not too confusing. So let's go over one more thing before we go. And in the message my friend sent me, he asked me about this specific phrase. Get back over there. Now what do you think get back over there means? Get back over there. Well, if you haven't figured it out, let's try to dissect it together. Now, get back. When someone tells you to get back somewhere or go back somewhere, they want you to return to the point in which you left. So a lot of people will ask me, when are you going to go back to America? I will say, hey, I will probably go back to America later. I have to get back to America before June. So if I were to tell someone to get back over there, this kind of situation would have to happen. I'm in Russia. If my sister, for no reason, comes from New York, all the way to Russia to come visit me without telling me and she was being annoying and loud and I didn't want her here, I would say, you know what, you need to get back over there. You need to go back over there to America and stay away from me because you're annoying me. Get back over there. So, don't forget it. I hope this was an interesting lesson for you. This one was by Special Request. And so that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me vk.com slash Velasco, that's me, and subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. And um, I'll be touring soon, a lot, a lot of cities in Russia. Check the links in the description to find out where I'll be if you'd like to attend my classes, and we'll have fun together. And that's basically it. I'm out, people. Later. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase.